It's 6 p.m. on Friday, which means it's time for Fantasy FC Team 2. If you guys are looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Ultimate Team coins, check out mmoexp.com. Link in the description. Save 5% using code HABER. This team is looking spicy. We've got 383 plus player picks and a bunch of packs to open to try and get ourselves some of the brand new cards. Straight away, in our first pick, we get Kandreva. That's a cracking start. Now, the only issue is, I don't think he'll get many upgrades based on Celeritana. But, straight away, what a start that is. You love to see it. Thank you very much. All right. And the net, the last 83 plus is going to be Pascal. I, I'm sorry. I don't know how to pronounce that name. But we've got two in our first three player picks. Granted, they're not the best ones. But we'll take it. Two in the first three. It's going to be nice seeing if these cards get upgraded. That's a cracking start. Both... The hero and the normal player teams look absolutely phenomenal as well. We have got the likes of Dembele, Declan Rice, Luis Diaz, Chiesa, Stanway, Gacy, Jan Kuto. Obviously, there's my Kandreva, uh, Ian Matson, And then in the hero team, we've got Schneider, Lucio, McManaman, Bompastur, Yaya Torre, Ramirez, then Mascherano and Brolin, who I don't think are that great. But... That's really exciting. I have got myself uh, 683 times 10s. We have got store packs to open. We've got a bunch of stuff to get through here. Van Dyke, wait. <laughs> I actually thought I just packed Van Dyke then. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Oh, that got me. Oh, okay. Well, the annoying thing is Delict was a uh, Fantasy FC card less than a minute ago, which is really annoying. Um, I think so was Lacazette. Did I? So was Kalhanoglu. Okay, EA, that's just not fun, is it? That's a not. That's just not funny. I don't. I don't get why they do that. That's not funny at all. Um, that's annoying because we we almost just got the the best pack ever, but we were a minute late, weren't we? Hopefully these eighty three times tens will pay out though. We've got ourselves a French CB Renard, double walkout, please. No double walkout, which means no fantasy card behind her. I'm not a big fan that the fantasy cards pop up last in. Oh, and I've got a discarder and recoverer. I'm not a big fan that the fantasy FC cards pop up last in the in the packs in the untradeable packs, but. I guess it adds a bit of excitement when you get yourself a double walkout and you think, oh, there could be a fantasy card behind that. We've got ourselves Lotaro, Lotaro Martinez, double walkout, which means it could be a fantasy FC card behind it. I'm going to skip it because no one cares what double walkouts look like these days. Okay, this is getting a bit annoying now. Let me go and deal with some of these dupes. All right, we've got 383 times 10s left. We're still on the hunt for another fantasy card. We've done, we've done a really good start, though, haven't we? Uh, we've got ourselves a Polish goalkeeper, Buxa. Informed Buxa. I'm going to skip that. Um, I mean, I'll take that, to be fair. Another 85 rated inform, that's solid. That's really good, especially for the 83 times 10s if they come back out. They all require an inform, right? So I'll take all the informs I can get. Next 83 times 10, I'm just going to skip them now. I'm going quickly. I'm going quickly and skipping them all. Oh, Aspas was just a uh, Fantasy FC card as well. That's annoying. All right, and the 83 times 10, the last one. I'm going to skip it again. What are we saying? Oh, the 83 times 10 are still out. Nice. Okay, we didn't get any fantasy cards in the 83 times 10s, but we're still off to a good start. All right, we have got some store packs to open now. This one's uh, tradable. So we'll start off with this one because it's tradable and see what we get. We don't get a fantasy card because they do pop up first in the tradable packs. We got ourselves a Luka Modric, which I'm just going to skip. I don't really care. Um, skip that. What else have we got? Tony Cruz, Shulera, Saka. Eh, fair enough. Uh, Kimmich, Modric. Scott and Martinelli can all go to the transfer list. Discard the rest. All right, next up, what have we got? What are we going to open next? 500k pack. This has got 86% chance of a Fantasy FC card and just under a 10% chance of a hero. Let's see if we can get ourselves a hero or Fantasy FC card. Last week, I remember, I got two heroes in one store pack. So hopefully that's the same this week with how good the heroes actually are this week. Uh, Roger and Hergerberg is a double walkout. It's not a bad start at all. We are hoping for... Fantasy FC cards at the back. Please, EA. Never mind. We did get one. Fair enough. We did get one. But it was sadly the one we've already got. Not a great start. I feel like I might have used all my luck in the player picks, to be honest. Just submitted some of the duplicates into the 87 plus player pick now as well. Let's see what we get back from this. Hopefully something good. Fair enough, that was absolutely not worth it. I'm going to discard the 84s as well because I really do not care about 84s at all. Uh, let's go back to the store though and open up, I believe, the last store pack we have to open. I'm not really sure. I can't remember. I don't know if we've got one or two left to open. 
Here we go. What we got? So at the end, we have got two 400k packs to open. We got halftime premium pack and halftime encore pack. We'll do the premium pack first and see what we get. Hopefully, fantasy FC cards that I've not already got. Fingers crossed. Come on, EA. I'm going to go all the way to the end. Ooh, Ian Matson. Not bad, actually. This card looks really good. Should get upgrades with Dortmund as well. They play Onion Berlin uh, away from home this weekend, which they could definitely keep a clean sheet. I think they've got like a 32% clean sheet chance. Don't ask me how I know this stuff. All right, I'm just a loser. Um, but this card looks good. And anticipate on a left back. Solid. I'm, I'm quite happy with that. That is really, really good, to be fair. Nice. And the last store pack, we've got the Halftime Encore pack. Guarantees us one either Radioactive, Ultimate Dynasty, Team of the Group Stage, FC Versus, or Winter Wild Card. I don't know if it includes icons or not, so let's just see what we get from this. We've got ourselves a pink flare. I don't really know what I've got here. Got ourselves Joao Cancelo. I don't know if that's like... Okay, we've got ourselves... Is that Team of the Group Stage? That's not bad, I think. I don't need a fullback. That's the only issue, but I don't think that's bad. I mean, the annoying thing is, is that, is that the only walkout in the whole pack? Damn. Um, that's all right. I'm quite happy with that. Again, Team of the Group says Joao Cancelo will definitely get some use at some point. Uh, the rest of the pack's really bad, though. Really, really bad. All right, let's hop onto some share plays and open up packs for you guys. I've partnered with Logitech to show off my brand new Astro A50X headset amongst some other great Logitech G products. The Astro A50X headset is a new flagship Logitech gaming headset. You can seamlessly switch between Xbox, PS5, and PC all at once with the first ever innovation, PlaySync. And the Pro G graphene drivers deliver groundbreaking sound quality and clarity. It's got HDMI 2.1 pass-through with 40 gigabytes bandwidth and an auto low latency mode with a high resolution 16-bit microphone that achieves new levels in headset mic quality and it gives you more ways to chat. With Bluetooth, you can even connect your phone or mobile device with the base station and mix Discord chat with your game audio. You can even use Bluetooth to connect your Switch console. There's a 24 hour battery for long worry-free gaming sessions and has a really comfortable feel weighing just 363 grams with soft cushioning around the headset. The new A50X will be my new long-term headset, whether that be for gaming or editing. I think it's a great headset. I've really enjoyed using it so far. You can find a link to the a50x and some other great logitech g products in the description down below massive thank you to logitech for sponsoring this video all right we've got some player picks and packs for lala we've got 83 pluses first we're hoping to see that blue or purpley outline would be nice oh inform vlahovic nice 88 rated not bad at all third and final player pick sadly no fantasy fc cards in that we've got the 87 plus pick now though what's the 87 plus saying Oh, that's a shame. All already owned. But not Silver would have been nice. He would have been solid. Mukele would have been solid as well. That's a shame. All right, we have got some 83 times 10s now as well to open. I'm not going to make you open, uh, watch me open up every single 83 times 10. I'll just be back if we get something decent, aka a Fantasy FC card. That's when we'll be back. Oh, we did get one. I don't know why I was just like silent just watching that. Okay. We got, I mean, I think this is going to be the new, like, who was it last week we just kept packing? Uh, I think this will be the most common one this week, though, won't it? Unfortunately. Because um, she just doesn't look very good. She won't be very expensive. All right. Next 87 plus pick. Someone good, please, EA. Alaba or Morgan. Do you know what? Morgan is actually quite rare. I really don't see her much at all. That's a solid one. I'd probably go Morgan over Alaba. I don't know what they're like price-wise, though. All right. He's picked Morgan. He's picked Morgan there, which I think is quite, it's quite a rare card. So it's quite a fun card to actually try out. The Finesse Shot Plus as well. Uh, it's quite a fun one. 83 times 20 now. EA, we just want to see some Fantasy FC cards, please. I've not packed a Hero yet. And I feel like the Hero is going to be very hard to pack this week due to how good they actually all are. Um, last week, they were relatively common because there were some quite bad ones in there. No Fantasy FC card in the 83 times 20. That's rough. We go again with the next 87 plus player pick. What we say in EA? Marta Fire card. That's not terrible. That's not awful. I mean, got both Marta cards in the same one, which is quite funny. But that's not bad. 83 times 10s, 84 times 20s, 85 times 10s. You know what? I want to open the 85 times 10 first. If there's going to be luck, we want it to be in the 85 times 10 because it could be absolutely ridiculous. Uh, Cancelo as the first walkout, double walkout. This is why we see something good at the back, please. Lee Malou. Who, by the way, I think will likely get all upgrades. I mean, Brest is second right now. 
in the league and they have been incredible they're beating teams by multiple goals um i think it's very very possible that he gets all of his upgrades and could be a phenomenal card we're gonna do the 84 times 20 next usually i'd do the 83 times 10s and work up i'm gonna work backwards and see if it has better luck got ourselves a cheeky josh kimmich as the first player at a double walkout that's good so we'll skip it fantasy cards at the back please yeah come on fantasy fc cards at the back Kandreva. i mean you'll take it again at least at least you got one um i don't think the card looks that bad i just i don't even know if he'll get two upgrades i mean he should get the the appearance upgrades i'd imagine i think Kandreva still starts for for salaritana but that's probably about it right i don't know i have no idea to be fair i don't really follow salaritana 283 times tens now these can catch you off guard with the walkout player so i'm going to be very careful spanish cdm who is that? Oh, it's the inform. Okay, Santia, Santa Cardamos Nasa or whatever his name is, right? Just a discard recovery, unfortunately. And the last one, EA. Come on. Fantasy FC card. Hero, please. Please, EA. German, CDM, Josh Kimmich again. Oberdorf this time. Double walkout. That's good. Come on. Ronaldo! Ooh, let's go. Like the badge on his card. Oh! Ooh, Martins. Okay. That's not bad. Cheeky Martins. Her hair is almost coming out of the card. Not bad, actually. I don't know how much she'll be worth. PSG women good? I don't really know, but that's all right. No way. There's not a chance she's that much, surely. What? Is she actually worth that much? Oh, my God. What pack pool that is? Wait, I need to, I need to actually check that. How much is Martins worth? 500k i suppose it is a really good looking card with five star skills as well that's insane we'll take that that's solid all right a couple big packs for liam now we're gonna start for the 85 times 10 here we go what we say EA. germany striker luckily it's not stark this time we're not gonna have to sit there and watch a load of starks uh pop in a double walkout i'm gonna skip it come on fantasy fc card please I'm surprised no dupes, to be fair, but that's really annoying. How is there no Fantasy FC card there? EA, come on, man. All right, we've got 84 times 20 now. Please. Inform. We've got ourselves a Spanish goalkeeper from Barcelona, Sandra Panos, but we've got an inform. Imagine inform Virgil van Dijk. Whew, that card looks incredible, to be fair. Um, what are we saying, though? Who is going to be the inform? Let me see a big Dutchman. Hmm. It's going to be Rafael Liao. Is he expensive? That's not bad at all. That's not bad at all, to be fair. Wow, he's still at 300k. That's solid, man. That's really, really good. Any fantasy cards? And Medima and Lee Malou. Nice. Medima's worth probably, I reckon, set was around 100-ish k. Um, wow. That's a great 84 times 20. Look at that. That is really, really good. You'll take that. I mean, 85s and 84s are literally worth nothing these days, are they? Um... So we'll discard them and we'll open up the 83 times 10 to finish off. Hopefully, the look hasn't ended just yet, but I wouldn't be surprised if it had. Do you know what? Do you know what I thought for a second? You know how the fantasy cards show up first when it's uh, only one walkout? I thought that might have been Lucio and then like a random walkout behind. Sadly not. 87 plus player pick now for Dan. I'm just moving away. All right, my boy Mo has got a big little pack opening. Big little pack opening. I I don't know how I do this as a job, man. I've got I'm, my vocabulary is absolutely awful. Hopefully, Mo can save me right now with a big Fantasy FC card or two in these packs so that you guys still watch the content. That's what we're hoping for. Here we go. FC Fantasy card at the back of this pack, please. All black in a double walkout. I don't know who's going to be there, but it'll be someone high rated. We care about the back, though. Oh, really? Got the double double Atletico walkout, but like, it's pretty awful, man. All right, 84 times 20 has to be better than that, EA. Come on, that was atrocious. All black again needs to be better. Needs to be better than the last. KDB, good fodder. We'll take that. That's solid. No FC card again. Really? All right, my boy Rex has got his 87 plus player pick. We've had terrible ones today. And they continue to be awful. All right, on to my second account now, where we have uh, 383 plus picks and a couple of hero picks to open as well. So we're starting off with a Jack Grealish, who was obviously just a fantasy player less than half an hour ago. Cool, thanks, EA. Yeah, 
Berardi. Cool. Nice. And third and final 83 plus is going to be Inform Santi Comasana. Now we have two 87 plus hero picks. No, in my look, I'll get a fantasy hero in this. Oh, do you know what? It's actually kind of annoying. Viale would have been class if I didn't already have him. Govu. We'll take Govu in the trouble threat. Second hero pick now. Abadi Pele. Eh. I'm not going to lie. Other than like one or two, pretty much anything that isn't a fantasy hero these days, just don't care about at all, realistically. Um, what do we even have on this account to open? I don't even know. We have 83 times 10s. I won't make you watch all of these. If we get something good, I will be back. I'm going to be skipping literally all of these as well in the hopes of getting some blue cards and purple cards. All right, tradable deluxe to fantasy FC pack on the second account now. We have an inform. Ooh, Marmouche and an inform. All right, so we did get a fantasy FC player at least. Go on, be informed Van Dyke. Make me a load of coins, please, EA. Inform Goosens. Fair play. Carl actually looks all right. He's like a box-to-box -box centre mid. I think he looks solid. I doubt he'll be very expensive, but we'll lift these up. At least we made a few coins on this account. Marmouche, are you still worth a tiny bit before you, before you inevitably drop because everyone will pack you? Um, and obviously, they won't shop at the back of the pack. Ooh, nice. All right, that's not too bad. Okay, fair enough. I've never opened one of my 4U packs ever, but I thought we'd end off this section of the video opening up a 4U pack. We've got a bunch of player picks from yesterday to show you guys as well, including some very good hero picks. So make sure you stick around for that. If you guys have enjoyed the video, though, leave a like down below and subscribe if you guys are new around here. No idea what to expect in this pack at all, to be honest. We've got an English centre-back from Man City. Greenwood's whatever that is card. Uh, what else we got there? We've got a double walkout. Who is, who is that? Pedri. Fair enough. Okay. Is that good? I mean, I think that's all right. This card's worth 20k. Pedri's not bad, though. Could have a, could have a fantasy card in there as well. Oh, and Miedema. I've been told how to pronounce it. Miedema. Nice. All right. That's actually, that actually worked out really, really well. I mean, Pedri's, you know, sadly a duplicate. But that worked out really, really well. Nice. We'll take that. Solid. Thank you very much. All right. Here's some player picks from yesterday. And uh, thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoy, guys. Thank you very much for all the subs and whatnot as well. All right. Just because I'm a DJ, we'll open up this halftime pack. Just because I'm a DJ. And I want fantasy cards. I want Felon Mendy, you know? I want um, Felon Mendy. I forgot who they are. Griezmann. I want car I want good cards, man. Is that, a, is that a lot to ask for? Apparently, it is. I'll take that, though. Konate's class. Konate is very, very good. If they keep a clean sheet against Forest at the weekend, I'll be very, very happy because that will be a really nice sort of direction towards his upgrades. So, fingers crossed they keep a clean sheet against Forest. All right, halftime encore pack. Let's see what we get in this. I don't even know what this is, to be honest. Germany Cam from Borussia Dortmund. Is it Marco Royce Winter Wildcard? And Diago Aspas upgraded, might I add. Um, Iago Aspas Fantasy FC card. What else we got in here? Pretty much nothing. It's just those two, really. Um, I guess we'll take it. All right. 287 plus hero upgrades. I'm only doing these because of the Evo. So. Reckon. That's not a great start, is it? Oh, okay. Okay. Nice. Yeah, not bad. Um, that's all right. That's 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 all right. That is that's that. You know, I've seen worse hero picks. All right, we go again. Next one. I'm really happy with that Janola. Uh, Tevez, I guess. I don't think it really matters too much. We'll get. We'll, we'll take Tevez though. Two hero picks now. What are we saying? Let's get another Ginola, but this time a triple threat, please. Oh, Fernando Morientes. I think some of these are better because of the Evo. But I can't remember which one's going to the Evo, so I don't know. Another couple of hero picks. Here we go. Dirt Count, Keesler. Mm, not great. All right, next one. What are we saying? Be better than the last one, please. Marquisio. Yeah, still not ideal, though. 
Ooh, Canate. Nice. That's a W. Canate double walkout. Imagine getting a pick or a pack, sorry, where it's Canate and VVD in form. That'd be pretty cool. Donnarumma. Canate solid though. You take Canate. Seems really common now. You take that. That's solid. Another one. Another one. Regrets. 